Alrighty guys, welcome back to another Roblox scripting tutorial. It is the Dev King here back with another video. And guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you about leaderboards or leader stats. Now, basically, guys, if you don't know what leader stats are, they are how you kind of like um, you know, display data up here. So if you guys ever played like a simulator or something, you've probably seen like, you know, your cash or your XP or something like that or maybe you know whatever and basically you can change this number through a script and um, yeah but now if I click this button right here which I'll, which I'll also show you how to do I actually get points and it changes up there too so yeah I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make this and actually how to use it and uh, you know write to it something like that so you guys anyways let's get right into the tutorial and make sure you leave a like if you do enjoy and subscribe for more scripting tutorials anyways let's, let's start okay so First things first, you guys need to make sure you watch my other tutorials first, okay guys, because you won't understand how this works, because it's kind of like, uh, not advanced, but you know, you need to understand the, the stuff before that. So make sure you go watch my old tutorials if you haven't already, and um, yeah. Anyways, so everyone else watching now, you should know what to do, so let's go ahead and make a script, okay, so make a script, and then we're going to go ahead and start. All right, now guys, so this is how you make leader stats. Now, it's a bit confusing, not really, but it might be a little bit tricky because you're gonna learn a few more things in this video which you don't know, like int values and also about the click detector and stuff like that. So make sure you stay you know, focused and try not to lose track. And if you do, just make sure you rewatch some parts. Anyways, let's start. All right, so first things first, we wanna go ahead and make a um, event. So the event we're gonna be making is basically gonna track all of the people that join the game. Now, um, I'm gonna go ahead and go into the object browser here to show you guys. So if you go in the object browser, if you don't have it enabled, go ahead and go to view and then click object browser. Okay, we're gonna go to players because the event is from the players. Okay, and the event we'll be making is called player added. Now it's a pretty simple event, okay? If a, if a player is added to the game, it's going to tell us, it's also gonna give us the player's name or the player you know the player object okay so we can we can change the players like values stuff like that so yeah that's what this um what's this what this event does so um yeah anyways let's go back to the script okay so game dot players dot player added is the event we'll be using okay and we're gonna do connect and then we'll connect the function to it and then in here we're going to actually start making the leaderboards now also I forgot, forgot one thing we need to add player in here for the parameter because we want to make sure we can access the player's value and stuff like that so make sure you type that in there too uh, or whatever you want it doesn't have to be player anyways so we're gonna go ahead and do this now so local leader stats is equal to in or no sorry equal to instance dot new in or no folder and then player okay now I'm gonna explain this right now so what this means basically is we're making a variable okay called leader stats and the variable is a new instance called um, well actually not it's called leader stats but it's going to be a folder okay so the folder basically stores values and stores you know stores data in there it's, it's pretty what, what are folders doing in real life right they store stuff okay so you can put stuff into folders right there, there you go you see over there anyways you get the point that's what we're gonna be creating okay so we're gonna put this folder inside of the player okay so you guys should not do this already because I did make a video on instances recently so you should not do this but um, yeah anyways we're gonna put this folder called leader stats into the player and now we're actually gonna name the folder because it doesn't have a name yet and we're gonna name it leader stats okay now make sure you name it leader stats word for word don't name it leaderboard okay don't name it um, I don't know like leader leader um, I don't know. Don't name a leader, okay? <laughs> Maybe make sure it's named leader stats, or else this will not work at all. So that I don't know why, but that's how Roblox kind of works, and how they made the program, and how they made it all. So um, yeah. Anyway, so basically what this does is, is it creates a new folder called leader stats and puts it in the player. Anyway, so yeah. And now, if we were to run the script right now, nothing would actually happen because you know there's no value to display in the leaderboard okay so we need to actually put a value inside of the leaderboard so we're gonna create another one so we're gonna make local um, cash actually we'll call it points we're gonna call it points and we're gonna do local points equals instance dot new and this time it's gonna be an int value not a leaderboard or not a folder a, an int value okay so instance dot new int value okay now int value if you guys don't know I don't think I showed you yet but I might have but I'm gonna show you again just in case an int value is basically something that it's like a variable but it's a num okay it's a variable that's a number but you can use it across any script so it's pretty useful because that way I can access it anywhere and you know it's, it's um, nice because I can access it anywhere so yeah I could change the number here or I could rename it or whatever but we're not going to be creating it in the workspace we're going to actually delete this and make it inside of the script so yeah 
So this is new int value, and we're gonna put the int value object into the leaderboard. Don't put our leader stats. Don't put it in the player. Put it in the leader stats. So um, yeah. Anyway, second thing, second. Now we have to name the points. So make sure you make the points name to something like um, you know, points. <laughs> so name it what it, what it's called in your variable. That way it's simple and uh, not confusing or anything like that. So name it points. And then we're good. All right, guys. So now if I were to go ahead and actually type or not type, sorry. Now if I were to go ahead and actually run the game, it would show my points in the top right. So here you go. There you go, guys. That's points in the top right there. It looks pretty cool. Okay. Now, um, obviously nothing right now will change it, but um, we're going to want to do that in a second here. I'm, I'm going to show you how to change it. So, um, yeah. But yeah, those are my points and stuff like that. So um, yeah, that's how you do it. Also, guys, if you want to make anything more up there, like for example, let's say you wanted XP up there too, you would just copy this part over that way to make it simple, and then you could just name this um, XP, okay, XP, and then make sure you change all the things that says points to XP. Um, so um, yeah. And now if I were to run it again, I'd have XP there and um, and and points. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, so how do you change these numbers, you're probably wondering. How do I change it to 1 XP or you know, level 5 or something like that, right? Now, what you would do is you would do points.value or whatever it's called, dot value equals, or equals not, not, okay, yeah, that equals 5, okay? So what you do there, points.value equals 5, and then boom, now it equals 5. And obviously, you don't want to probably just make it a single number and not ever change it again. Maybe you want to make a button that gives you points, and every time you click it, you get another point. Now, I'm going to show you how to do that too. So, um, yeah. Anyways, that's how you pretty much use the leader stats though. And, yeah. Okay, so now we want to go ahead and make another script, okay? Because because this script is useful, right? But we want to make another event in here too. Actually, I guess we could use the same script. But we'll make another script to keep it simple, okay? So, we're going to rename this script real quick just so we don't get confused. We're going to rename it to leaderboard or leader stats um, handler. Now, this is optional, guys. You don't have to do this at all. But I, I do this to make it simple. So, um, yeah. And now we'll create a new script, and we're gonna go ahead and call this script um, um, points giver. Okay. Now this script's gonna give you points, and you know that way, you know you get points, I guess. <laughs> okay. So what we need to do, or what we want to do, is we want to make a part. Okay. And every time we click the part, we want to make it so it gives you, you know, like points. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and make a part, color whatever. It doesn't have to be any color specifically, and uh, we'll put it like that. And now we have a part here, right? But we need to make sure we actually have a way to click it. So what we're going to do to make it simple is parts actually have this thing you can put in there called click detectors. And now click detectors are pretty simple. What they do is they detect if you licked it. So um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, go ahead and put a part or go ahead and click this plus beside the part and then put a click detector inside of it. And also let's move the script inside of the part too to keep it simple. Okay, now we have the part in and the click detector. So now if we were to click it, um, nothing would happen right now because we didn't program it yet, but now we can detect if it clicked, okay? So yeah. Okay, so now we have our points giver script and we're going to make another event and it's gonna be basically, it's gonna detect if we click it. And then if we do click it, the event's gonna fire and it's gonna also gonna tell us who who clicked it, okay? So if you wanna go back to the object, object browser, you can. And you can go in here, click detector, and then you can see all the events here. Like the one we'll be using is called mouse click and uh, the summary of it is it fires when a player clicks the part or the parent of the part of the ticket sector. Oh my gosh, I can't read. But you get the point, okay? <laughs> Basically, this fires whenever the part um, is clicked because it's the child of the part. So yeah. Anyways, to write this event out, we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to do script dot parent um, is equal to, or not equal to, script dot parent dot um, click detector. And then we're going to do dot mouse clicked. So basically what we're doing is we're getting the parent of here. So we're going to go like this. We're going to go parent dot click detector. And then we're going to do dot mouse click, which is one of the events. And then we're going to connect the function to it. There we go. And then we're going to put player in here. The player who clicked it, we want to know who clicked it so that we can give them points. And then we have player in there. So now we're going to do this, okay? So now we're going to get the players to actually points. So we're going to get points. So we're going to do... We're actually going to make a variable, or not make a variable, yeah, we're going to assign a variable to the points, that way it's easier to access if you want to access it again. So we're going to do local um, player points is equal to points, or no, I'm no, sorry, player dot um, leader stats, because remember, it's in the leader stats, the points are in the leader stats, okay. And then we're going to do player dot leader stats dot points, and actually capital P. Make sure you have the capitals right, guys, um, capital P, and then dot val or no actually yeah just points okay 
So there we go, guys. That's how you do it. So now you have the points accessed, okay? So the player points are stored under that now, okay? And now we're going to actually change the points. So we're going to do player points, okay? Player points dot value, okay? Because we need to get the value, okay? Right now, we just have the int value selected, but we want to get the value of the int value. I know it's a little confusing, but um, that's how it works. So yeah. So player dot points dot value, or player points dot value equals player points i oh, sorry, player points dot value. Now you're probably wondering, why did you just set this equal to itself? Because what if it was like, okay, okay, I'll, let me explain that real quick. So, um, okay, you know, <laughs> okay, you know what, just, I'm gonna write it all out. Okay, so plus one, okay. Now we wrote here, player dot, player points dot value equals player points dot value plus one. Now I know it looks a little weird. You probably just want to do, you probably want to do like this, right? You probably want to do player points dot value plus one. And now, obviously, that's what we're doing here, but you can't just write that also it won't work. So we, what we have to do is get player points value, set it to itself, and then add one to it. So yeah. And now, basically, when the script runs, what's going to happen is every time this this um you know the parent of the click detector is clicked, which is this part, every time it's clicked, it's going to fire the function and get the player. It's going to find out what the player's points is equal to, and then it's going to add player points dot value um equals itself plus one so it's going to add one to it so yeah anyways now if we go and run the script let's go and test it out and see if it works so here we go and boom now we have eight nine ten you know however many and um, it's working obviously okay the points are going up and it's what's working so yeah that's exactly what we wanted and it works great also guys if you want to change the xp it's the same thing you know you got to do the xp dot value and also guys this actually is unnecessary here i could just do player points dot uh, player points dot points. Oh, sorry, wait, no, that uh, points dot value. Okay, that variable is unnecessary. I could just get rid of it and then just um, add this here too. But um, I just added it because it just looks a little cleaner than all this long code of you know long line of code here. But um, you know you get the same you get the same effort or get the same thing and um, yeah, there's no difference between it. So yeah. Anyways, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, guys, make sure to subscribe if you're new. That way you don't miss out on any new Dev King tutorials, which you should already be subscribed. Okay, subscribe right now. Anyways, um, also leave a like if you enjoyed, and um, yeah, or if you helped and learned. Anyways, guys, that's it. That's the end of the video, and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Also, if it was a little... Oh my gosh, I talk so fast. I'm sorry. Also, if it was a little confusing, please comment down below um, your, your questions or whatever, and I'll try to respond to them as best as I can. Anyways, guys, that's it. Peace out.